The Camelback BFM is our largest system. In addition to three liters of hydration, the pack provides 47 liters or 3,000 cubic inches of cargo. The updated BFM features a new Futura harness, which adjusts to fit your individual torso. The design effectively transfers weight from the shoulders to the hips and back for better carriage on heavier loads. The pack is constructed with Camelback's unique double ripstop Cordura fabric for tough but light performance. This custom weave provides 80% higher tear strength versus plain weave Cordura. There's a large laser molly panel with our mountain molly shape to ease the pain of threading on pouches. On the BFM's back panel, the Futura harness provides telescoping height adjustment with an ergonomic padded shoulder harness. The front adjustable sternum strap provides extra stability and the fully padded waist belt is removable. To fit the Futura harness to your height, loosen the top control straps. Open the yoke flap and slide out the yoke adjuster. Push the adjuster down the sleeve between the back panel and the yoke to break the hook and loop seal. Now, move the yoke up or down to the desired height. Remove the adjuster and press the yoke to the back panel to re-engage the hook and loop strips. Replace the adjuster inside the yoke and test the fit. We recommend you have at least 10 pounds in the pack during fitting. The fit is optimal when the waist belt is centered on the wearer's hip bones and the control straps make a horizontal line from the top of the shoulder to the top of the pack. Once the pack is set to your torso length, it should not need to be readjusted. However, if you use the pack both with armor and without, you might want to harness settings. To switch between the two quickly, you can simply mark the yoke with a line for each harness height. The main compartment is constructed with a four slider, full clamshell design. The clamshell construction allows users to quickly open the full compartment for easy loading and organization. The four slider opening allows you to customize two points of entry to the main compartment, on the top and side, on the top and bottom, or an opening on each side without having to completely open the pack to reach an item. The unique front pocket provides three storage areas. There's organizations for pens, pencils, and small items. There's an upper storage area called a loft pocket, which has its own constructed volume and there's a deep stow area at the bottom. The BFM comes with the Crux 3-liter reservoir. It stows in a dedicated hydration compartment on the back of the pack. This makes it easy to fill and reload the reservoir without disturbing the rest of your gear. The drink tube can be routed to the wearer's front using either the over-the-shoulder or under-the-arm tube exits provided on the back panel. The BFM hydration system combines rugged materials and a telescoping Futura harness so you can comfortably carry your gear and stay focused on your mission. Regardless of the type of pack, all adjustable Mystery Ranch packs have a telescoping yoke that can be adjusted to your specific torso length. Properly fitting your backpack is critical. A proper fit allows the pack's frame to effectively transfer the majority of the weight to your hips. A proper fit will maximize the load carrying capabilities of your pack. Your Mystery Ranch backpack has adjustable harnessing you are able to move the yoke up and down depending on your torso length. It is important to put the belt and the lumbar pad at the back of the belt where it is comfortable for you. Ideally, the lumbar pad should sit in the small of your back and the waist belt wrap over your hip bones. When the pack is properly fit, the pack should mirror the S-curve of your back and you should place the center of the waist belt pad over your hip bones. A good fit starts with getting the right backpack harnessing size. For this, you'll need two numbers, the size of your waist measured from two inches below the belly button and the length of your torso, which can be measured with a tailor's tape or a string. From the bony bump at the base of your neck, the C7 to roughly at the height if your belly button was on your back, the spot on your spine just above the top of your hip bones. With these two numbers, you can easily refer to our sizing charts and find the right size pack for you. Once you have your pack, you will need to go through the following steps to achieve the perfect fit. You can fit your Mystery Ranch pack yourself or find a buddy to help. To start, loosen the straps on the shoulder pads and waist belt. Put the pack on and find that comfortable spot for the waist belt and lumbar to sit. Ideally, the top of your hip bone should be in the middle of the foam pad of your waist belt and the lumbar pad should sit in the small of your back. Tighten your shoulder straps by pulling down the back until it's comfortable, but be sure not to over tighten. Next, secure your chest strap via the buckle 
and tighten just enough to pull the shoulder pads out of your armpit area. Then reach over both shoulders with your hands and grab your load lifters and gently pull taut. After you have the pack comfortably adjusted, if you are doing this on your own, stand sideways to a mirror and reach over your shoulder. Locate the seam where the shoulder pad meets the back of the yoke. That joint should be flush with the top of your scapula. Determine the distance it would take to align that joint to the top of your shoulder blade. Loosen all straps and take the pack off and continue with the instructions. If it is aligned, there is no need to make any further adjustments. Your pack is properly fit. If it is not aligned, you will need to adjust the yoke up or down to align with the top of the shoulder blade. Remove the adjusters from the harnessing. To remove, open the Velcro flap on the back of the yoke by pulling the loop. Remove the plastic yoke adjuster and push it the whole way down between the pack bag and the yoke to break the Velcro seal entirely. Adjust the yoke up or down the distance needed to align that joint with the top of your shoulder blade. Once adjusted to the appropriate height, pull the adjuster out and pull it back where you got it from. It is a critical piece of the framing. Pull the pack back on. Buckle your waist belt and chest strap and see if that joint is aligned with the top of your shoulder blade. If not, repeat the process for adjusting the height of the yoke until it is properly aligned. Your pack is now properly fit. But remember, once you're in the field and your pack is bearing a load, you may need to make micro adjustments for maximum comfort and performance. The 511 All Hazard Nitro has a durable construction and was designed to be a carry-on, patrol bag, or long-range tactical kit. The dual main compartments offer a 180 degree opening for easy access. We've added loop patches at the sides and top for a name tag or ID. The pass-through slots allow you to store longer implements like breaching tools or a baton. There's a generous amount of web platform which is Molly and SlickStick system compatible. The bright orange lining on the interior allow you to identify your gear in low light conditions. The All Hazard Nitro has a bucket lid opening and supports a removable ammo jack or ammo mule. There's an all-purpose shove-it pocket along with an oversized sunglass pocket. The comfortable yoke shoulder system allows you to carry a heavier load for longer distances. There's an adjustable and removable sternum strap. We've also added a reinforced handle at the top for quick grab and go access. The four padded areas at the back provide added cushioning and allow for optimal airflow. The admin pocket was designed to allow you to carry all your essential gear while keeping you organized. The compression straps allow you to keep your gear secure. The smaller pocket on the exterior has a zippered opening for quick access. We've also added additional handles at the base. This is the 511 All Hazards Nitro.